Howdy, Perhaps, folks. Sir, would care to put sir's feet up, and I might serenade sir with the dulcet tones of a light opera. Howdy, folks. This is Checkers, and this, of course, is Fallout New Vegas, and our thieving sink. And this, I believe, is episode 79, so I will turn it over now to Checkers, the courier. All right, well, where are we at here? Gotta get used to the world and the universe we're in now. Always a bit of a jarring change. Let's see here. This is one, two is ammo, three is plasma, four is Gabriel's bark, five is our layer, six is our 22, seven is the sniper rifle, eight is the antenna. All right, well, hopefully I'll remember that. I think we're about as good to go health-wise as we can be. Well rested and all, excellent. Now, we were moseying on down around the Z-35, Z-38, is it? Lightwave Research Center. Let's go mosey right on back there and see. Wait, wait, wait. Before we do that, time to get into sneaky mode. Get into more trouble, not sneaking. All right over to Z38 Lightwave Dynamics if we're lucky and the world doesn't collapse. Survey says luck intact. All right, last time we was here we ran into a bunch of them nasty Night Stalker. The Cazador Preserve and the Night Stalker splicing facilities are strangely quiet. Too quiet. A problem that the big brains up there in Big MT just do not have. I'd like to see him have it. I really would. Alright. Nothing exciting out here. Back in here. Now we checked out the terminal last time as I recall. But... That's about it. We do have more room to carry things. We'll take them scrubs. Wonder glue. Gotta remember that we can't quite sell things the way we have been. At least until we have a little more access outside of the big MT. Mentats. Some clipboards. We'll grab those. Wander glue all over. A pack of cigarettes, another clipboard. Desk here's got a pack of cigarettes and a coffee mug. We're traveling fairly light at the moment, so we'll grab that. Take a quick look around, cause you just never know what you'll find. In the corners of structures. Conductor, we'll take that wrench. We can use those for weapon repair kits. Not sure why we use them up every time. Those wrenches must not be quite as tough as surviving a nuclear apocalypse might uh, seem. A hammer. All right, don't need a hammer. Don't need a vacuum cleaner. All right. What does this here device do? Any? Whoa, hello. What we doing? I guess we're doing that. Valence radii accentuator. Is that any different than what we're wearing? Not sure what happens. Like we kind of... It's just not in quite as good shape as ours. Haven't paid the suit or the sink and all to fix it. Alright, well we got an extra. And then... Weird light ghosts up there don't seem to mind none. Clipboard, another clipboard. I still have to remember to fix the toaster too. If I can. Let's take that back out. Alright, pack of cigarettes, earnings, clipboard. Uh, recipes, energy, weapons, skill book that I just accidentally stumbled upon and probably would never have seen. All right, you don't talk, you don't talk. 
they're not hurting nothing, so I don't see no reason to fire upon them. Scrap electronics, scrap electronics, a toolbox with a plunger, and, oh, duct tape. Well, don't mind me there, fella. Just go ahead and do your light ghost thing. Oh, there's something right here. Three proton throwing axes, because... I guess Grognak had a big influence on Big MT. Um, nothing really to do down there. I don't know if I missed anything when we wandered out this way or not. Being in a bit of a fear for life and limb, mostly limb. 24 20 gauge rounds, six bottle caps, a tin can, you can. Please avoid boom down for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved. All right, well. Well, we could get up there. Probably. Well, maybe not. Not this way. Anyway. What else? We had more pips on the horizon here to check. I think we're going to want to, if possible, stay off the ground. We are not sneaking, and we still can't make that jump. Well, there we go. There's a mine right there. No. Denied. We do have a wooden crate here with 15 357 rounds. We did pick up some 44s while one of the docks was screaming over the loudspeakers. Heavy sigh. I know we got up there once. I saw it. It was on video. Here, wait. There we go. Hmm. There's mines all over. There's two more over there. Alright, well, let's start chasing down pips on the pit boy. Back into sneaky mode. Oh, and also being as unkind at a distance as we can be to things that want to eat us. X66 Hexcrete Archipelago. Alright. There's a metal box here with 9357 rounds and a bottle cap. Ashtray it can keep. Another bottle cap, some pre-war money, shot glass it can keep. I hear something. I don't see it, but I do hear something. Other than crickets. Crickets are doing pretty well in the apocalypse, apparently. Good for them. Duffel bag. With rebound. Sure, we'll take that. This is where we found Suit Lady. I don't think there's anything we have to do in there anymore. There's something down there, though. Let's check our long range. Oh, the Robo Scorpions are still there. Well, you know what? Let's just give them something to think about. So we don't have to deal with them. on terms other than our own. Yeah, that's right. Y'all come on over here. Time for violence. You won't escape me. Oh, well, I didn't quite plan on that. They have a little bit better advantage in this particular situation. when they climb up over that like I didn't realize they could do. Uh, 
That was weird. I couldn't back up no more. Well, they're all done. 36 energy cells. 36 energy cells and a stealth boy. How are we in limbs? Not too shabby, I think. A simple, cool, refreshing taste of sunset sarsaparilla and our valence radii thingamabobber will kind of fix things up. And we got three less of those nasty little scorpions to worry about. Let's switch back over to our lair, which actually does pretty well on those scorpions, but I do love watching Gabriel's bark knock them clean about the place. Alright, so let's mosey on down to whatever's next. That is something, a Xander root. Caution. Well, you know what, actually. Let's go inside the structure and then come back out. Maybe whatever invisible thing is haunting us will go figure out something else to do with itself. Or the world will collapse. One of the two. Scrap metal. I guess we can take that. A fission battery. Well, I suppose we're doing pretty well on weight at the moment doesn't look like we were the last time so let's see fresh apple oh, let's grab that conductor I don't think we need for anything right now empty I could have read that uh, paperweight don't need suitcase is empty ammunition case is empty oh wait there's some up there lucky there Thirty-six microfusion cells. One that's locked average. Let's see if it's in the same vicinity. Twenty-seven energy cells and a stealth boy. Alright, anything else I missed? Up top side here? Doesn't look like it. Let's just do a quick sweep through here. The goo pile here has thirty-three energy cells. I missed those. Scrap metal, duct tape, a plenty, pre-war money, fission battery, duct tape, drain small energy cells, two scrap metal, scrap electronics, well, some more pre-war money, two more scrap metals, got lots of things to work with here, don't need the chessboard, we'll take the fission battery, and that pre-war money right there if we can get to it but I'm not sure we can another fission battery another fission battery toolbox here has a hammer don't need that electrical box has drained small energy cells and three scrap metals well feel like I must have been asleep at the wheel Especially missing La Fantoma there. I know I did read all the terminals, but perhaps I missed more of those. Uh, there's some scrap electronics, more of those personality matrices. So we'll take a quick little gander around here. Damaged boots. Toolbox has two scrap metals and some wander glue. Thin red paste I think we could use for healing. Low weight, and it's not something I'd think of immediately, but if I needed something, might be worth having. Pre-war book. Mm-hmm. Damage prototype. Another terminal. I know we've already read. Robo-scorpion here has five energy cells and a sensor module. I guess we got one at least all right well more scrap electronics a wrench some broken prototype pieces another clipboard another clipboard probably getting on up to our weight limit here tin can but let's just take a quick look around this area here and then we'll be on our way
toolbox, got a sensor module. All right. Goo pile was empty. Sometimes I need to remember that tells me before I reach for it. Wrench, clipboard, how are we doing weight wise? 222 out of 220. Well, not quite as well as we might have hoped. Mm hmm. Which means. Gonna have to. Well, you know what? First thing it could mean. Let's go to Gabriel's Bark. It's probably. No, it's actually alright. Layer. Layer could use a weapon repair kit. Alright. And that drops us to 221. How about. Sniper rifle, oh sure. And anybody else? 357 is good, layers good. And Gabe's Bark could use it, but no real sense. We'll just, let's see here. Oh, how about a purified water? It's a little less healing than. A sunset so I don't feel so guilty about burning one there's a night stalker still hanging out here all right let's fall back to the sink and then we'll pick up again here having dispatched them nasty robo scorpions and see where we can go from here. Let's slip back into sneak mode. Snip. Slip back into the layer. Press the space time key in case that crazy world is just in the mood to collapse again. And head to the sink balcony. And we made it. I feel privileged and quite lucky. Now we can't sell anything to this thieving disc. We don't really need to hide in here, so let's start putting things away. We picked up a lot of useful miscellaneous items. Um, got some duct tape can go in there, and some fission batteries. Packs of cigarettes. We'll see if we can sell those. There's, they're not worth that much. Scrap electronics, scrap metal, a sensor module, five wonder glues, and three wrenches. And we've got some clipboards and mugs and such like we can put over here. Three clipboards, two coffee mugs, three more earnings clipboards, five medical clipboards. All right. And... Might I be of service, sir? Oh, one could only hope. Um... Oh, let's take a look at repair quick. Uh, combat armor. Oh my, that's expensive. Gabriel's bark for 420, dude. Uh, 1050 on the valence. Wait. I thought the one we were wearing was in better shape. Oh, I guess that was before the Robo Scorpions. Well, in that case, let's fix this one. And then we'll swap. Now that, also, let's do that before I forget. Okay, there we are. And now... We can try and sell... Actually, we can probably sell. That's all they're worth? You are just the thievingest thing. Actually, you know what? Well, no, let's actually keep them because if we find the bigger ones, we can repair them with the little ones. And, uh, 
for the most part, none of this stuff's going to... Wow, that's higher value than I would have expected, but almost nothing compared to what they're worth. Uh, anyway, let's see. Packs of cigarettes. Pre-war money doesn't have weight, so we can hang on to that. I didn't pick up any cartons. I thought I did. All right, well, there's that. Now, we can just... Wait, wait, wait. Toaster. Is that the toaster? <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble, world, before my electric heating coil of doom! Alrighty. Um, you are a toaster, though. I mean, how fearsome can you really be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Um, well... I really am quaking in my boots, if that makes you feel any better. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! Well, you know, probably not best for us to compare sizes of heating elements, but why all the rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. All right, why don't we talk about something else? Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm almost afraid to ask, but seeing as you've got so much pent-up rage and not really much to do with it, what is your function? You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So, you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! Interesting. So if I brought you toasters, you might... well have a way to release your rage, and I could clean up the mess, I'm sure. What else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! Wow. Alright, well, I'll keep an eye out for any Saturnite power fist, then. You find one, you bring it on back here, and we'll burn this mother down! Well, at least you are very excited. All right, I have to go now. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! All righty. Well, it's a, a very Stay exciting place to be. Pay. I think we have Saturnite Fist. Let, we only have one. Let's give it to him, see what he does. His wife caught him in bed with a nurse. Hey, there's a box under there. Now he haunts the medicine. Box has 10 357 and 744 Magnum rounds, which we will relieve it of. Mr. Toaster. Yes! Yes! Soon my work will be complete. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire. All right, then. It's always good to have goals. But you do know the world already burned in nuclear fire, right? Soon I will. What? It, it did? Yeah, a couple centuries ago, in fact. Really? Well, fuck. That really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh, man, oh, sorry, well. buddy. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh, right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! Alrighty. So, uh, about that superheated Saturnite power fist. Like I said. Bring me a Saturnite Power Fist, and I'll hook that shit up for you! You mean like this one right here? Oh, baby. That is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here. I'll soup it up for you. There you go. Have fun with that. Burn the fucking world for me! Alrighty. I'm gonna stop talking to you now, because my ears are bleeding. Yes! Flee before my terrible power! I, I certainly will. Now, what happened to our Saturnite Power Fist? Superheated, critical heat damage, DPS, 65 damage, 57. Value went up, I think, significantly. Anyway, I can't quite remember. 
let's put it away and I will try and stop bleeding from my ears I mean I'm all for the toaster being excited and all but pain all right let's step on outside and oh yeah we're in sneak mode that's good space time still necessary and then we're going to come right back on over to X13 because it looks like something's right close to there you know I don't want to jinx it or nothing but we're actually like exploring places not just fighting the same old lobotomites something something feels weird I probably just really jinxed the daylights out of that oh well you know you can't win them all there's a goo pile don't know if I ever checked might have been kind of on the run sensor module don't think I need it for anything if I do I don't have any idea what so oh well and definitely need to get my strength up Big MT West Tunnel. Well, there's a poor soul who did not make it. Duffel bag here. has got a fission battery in it. Yeah, you know, take it. Next time I stop back at base, should probably see if I can figure out how to make some more energy rounds. What on earth are we looking at over there before we wander up to it? Looks like more duffel bags, but switching back to lair. Oh, hello. Is that fun? Something's moving. I can't tell if he's functional or not, though. Is it him moving? Yeah, it is him. I really hate to burn him if I don't have to. Oh, well, looks like we're going to have to. Oh, you really had to make that choice, did you? All right, we're not going to be able to use this at that kind of range. But the layer will do it. Oh well, can't win them all. Thank you, Layer. Not that I think we can do I think we might be able to turn them off. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that was not good. Alright, well... Three doctor's bags, probably need them. Twelve missiles, three finance clipboards, four more clipboards. And three shot glasses. Someone knew what to pack. Um, 28 energy cells. We'll take those. And let's see what else is going on around here. What did these security bots have? 32 5 millimeter rounds and some scrap metal. Followed up by 25 more 5 millimeter rounds. A little disappointed that you didn't have more fun things to play with. Maybe your new friend will. Yeah, I don't think we really need to let you get a shot off. Oh, but your friend will make up for that. Alright. Someone following up. There's more of you out there. I get the feeling something happened that I just missed because we got the wild wasteland thing going on but I have no idea what it was uh, 31 5 millimeter rounds wait did you just split in half or were there two of you just split in half 30 more 5 millimeter rounds and some scrap metal and a uh, camp of some kind. 25 five millimeter rounds. Is that the... No, I get the feeling the wild wasteland thing is probably back here somewhere, but I just do not know. Do one of you have a strange name or something? Sentry bot. Sentry bot. Sentry bot. Nope, don't know truck here seems to be kind of 
um, radioactive among other things let's just leave that alone for now and how are we doing weight wise we are at 154 out of 220 which is not too bad I think we could hang out in the field here but that being said I think we should also get a back into sneaky mode and B take up a position of defense taking up 944 magnum rounds and 4308 rounds and kind of call this journey at an end for the moment and we will pick up again next time here outside whatever this place is and investigate to the best of our ability as uh, it doesn't look like we're going in this way anyway for the moment i would like to say thank you for joining me as we've wandered through well z38 and x13 and through the security droids and all that good stuff hope you found our journey entertaining and maybe even just a little informative i would like to invite you to subscribe and that checkers the other fella and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed to him I'd also like to invite you to like and share if you so desire. Most of all, though, I'd like to ask you to please, please, take care.